Hi, I'm Hobbit, and today, because Kevin has asked a very good question, we're going to talk about overuse injuries. A lot of you are starting this, and it's, you're brand new to it, and you're really pumped, and you're really excited, and you've got my schedule, and we've talked about this. If one mile, if it calls for one mile, well, two must be better. And what happens when you start doing all that, and it's not just new runners and walkers, we all have a tendency, you feel a little froggy, you do a little more than you should, and you do a little more than you should for several days in a row, and now all of a sudden you have shin splints. Shin splints are down right here, down the shin, sometime right to the side, and it's, it's usually because this ligament or muscle is not quite strong enough for everything you're asking of it, and it hurts like the devil. Anytime anybody that's had them, will tell you it's really really painful and they try to run through it or walk through it the best thing you can do for shin splints is rest that until it gets healthy again uh, there are several exercises you can do stretches to strengthen that area of your leg but again you don't want to do that till the inflammation goes down and it calms down and it's well again trying to exercise that will just make it worse Another injury we get a lot of questions about is stress fractures. According to my doctor, when he saw me and I had a stress fracture, it's an overuse injury. And what happens is it's basically just a little fracture in the bone. It's not quite broken yet, but it is not well. And it again, the stress fracture is a little different from the shin splint. Most people who have a stress fracture, they can take their finger and they can point like right here. It hurts right here not anywhere else but in a one specific point and that is where the stress fracture is. Because it's an overuse injury and a repetitive motion injury, the, the main way that you get well from it is to quit doing that repetitive motion. Well, if you're a walker or a runner, guess what you do all day long whether you're really training or not? You walk and you run. And that's, really, that's a really hard injury to, get pe to tell people you've got to immobilize it. If you have something you suspect is a stress fracture or anything that is really causing you a lot of pain, go to the doctor. I'm not a doctor. Kevin's not a doctor. Your running partner might be a doctor, but maybe not an ortho doctor. So I would go to the doctor and have it checked out. One of the other things that's really bad about a stress fracture is they don't typically show up on an x-ray. So your doctor will tell you usually, I've think it's a stress fracture, this is what I think you ought to, you know, this is what you ought to do about it. He might put you in a boot till you, you know, to keep it immobile so that you can get that thing healed up. Most runners and walkers don't want to hear that and so they don't want to wear the boot and then what happens is eventually it breaks and now you've really got a problem but the doctor can now see it in an x-ray and he says, guess what, that's a broken bone so he gets you in a boot anyway. Try to head it off at the pass by going to the doctor, finding out what is wrong, and getting it taken care of so that maybe you'll be able to walk again or run quicker rather than later. Am I done? Yeah.